Hey, folks, Dave back here in Studio B and uh, just playing some more tonight, trying to get out of a mood that I'm in, kind of glum today. It was a very bad night, as I mentioned, at work last night. <clears throat> and um, so I'm a little glum today. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try to play some of my new basketball game that I got here inside the paint. Uh, I am enjoying this game. Um, it's very similar to the hockey game. And uh, it's not nearly as complex as the baseball game. I played some more baseball today. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm enjoying it, uh, but it, it is really, really complicated. And even on some things, I'm, I'm just not following it. There's so many things to follow. I just can't follow the baseball game. I would thought baseball would be easier, but there's so many different things that can happen in a baseball game that yeah, I'm not. But anyway, let's come back here and play some Inside the Paint basketball here from inside sports and as you can tell that i'm a big fan of the inside sports games and i know i kind of gave them some ribbing on the first uh you know few episodes of the show but boy these games are really fun Th they don't sim though if you could sim these games i would be playing these games all day long if i could sim other games but you can't so i'm kind of stuck um using these as one-offs or playoffs or fill-ins or something like that but th they're very enjoyable games to play I just kicking back and being able to play these. As a replay gamer shows up. Yeah, we're back to the basketball replay gamer. Um, I kicked this around late last night. <clears throat> I picked it up yesterday. And um, so I want to kick it around again tonight. Again, I, I just, I'm, I'm really, really not in a good mood right now. It's a work thing. Um, but I did want to play uh, some of this here. So let's get back to where we are. Um and we are, let's see, it's uh, early in the, halfway through the first quarter, and it's 1916 Boston. Um, what I'd like to do, if I can, is um, show you some of the stats here. But now I have to do something real quick. All right, so if I do this, all right, so now there should be, I should be at the full screen. So I can show you some of the stats here. So let me look at my game stats so far. <clears throat> I do like this. I do like the stat package on this. So I can look at how many minutes um, guys have played. Boy, it's not showing the minutes, though. Oh, that's messed up. Um, it does. So it's not showing the minutes. Maybe cause I just loaded the game, so maybe that's why it's not showing everything. Um, but we're in the first quarter here. It just shows you the field goals made, the field goal attempted. Uh, each team's hitting 53, 54% of the field goal, so it's not that good. Uh, good, I was going to say bird. Good. Uh, bird has nine points to lead everybody. Uh, Parrish has six. James Worthy has six. Jabbar and Scott each have four. So this is kind of neat to look at the stat package here. Um, let's file, um, close, let's close out of the stat package here. What else can we look at while we're here? Uh, the play-by-play -play of the game, it just kind of shows you what happened. And I don't think there's anything else I can show you here, so I should be able to go back to uh, my normal game screen, <clears throat> which allows me to show this game a little bit bigger. When I go to substitutions, I'll go back to that other screen. <clears throat> All right, so let's play a little bit more, shall we? So it's going to be... Uh, inbounded by the Lakers. They trail by three. So it's going to be inbound. And it's going to be a pass to the forward here and a possible foul, but there's no foul here. So it's going to go right to James Worthy with a five. Worthy's going to put up the shot. It is missed. The defender, uh, Larry Bird with a seven. He needs a seven. He got the seven. He takes the shot away. So that shot is missed. And the rebound goes to the defensive guard if he's a five and he's an eight. So, yeah, so Danny Ainge comes down with the defensive rebound. And here come the Celtics the other way. They lead by three. It's going. Ainge is going to continue with the ball here. He's going to stop, and he's going to make an, oh, a 29 is a nice pass over to the forward if he's a one. And, yes, Bird is um, like that. So Bird's going to put that in. For the score, so Ainge to Bird, and Bird puts that in, and Ainge gets the assist, and it's now 21-16, Boston. And I'm pretty sure that uh, that's kind of how it plays out here. Now, the only thing that's going to come into play here is if I got to play strategy, if I got to play safe or press or intentional foul or double team, that, that stuff I don't really know much about. Much like in the baseball, I'm always forgetting to play infield in or infield out or corners in. I, I, again, the strategy stuff I'm not real good with, so I kind of just play a, 
basic mode. I'm going to call it basic mode. Can I call this basic mode? I'm going to call it basic mode. <clears throat> All right, so it's going to be a pass to um, James Worthy here. Ooh, bird to four. He almost denied the pass, but he's he's going to get it. And he's got 22. Uh, do, do we have any defender here? <clears throat> That's 100. Um, no, no one's 100. So it's going to be a 22. So Worthy puts this one up. Uh, yes, the momentum is terrible. Um, so it's going to be a missed shot. It would have been good, except for uh, uh, Bird's defending him, so he's going to make a miss, and because the momentum is bad, <clears throat> they would miss anyway. So Bird's going to, um, the shot goes up. It's no good. <clears throat> the rebound goes to the center. If he's a 24, he's not. Oh, it's going to go. Oh, it's going to go over to Kareem. Kareem gets the rebound, puts it up, two-point shot. Um, and shot 31 is good and is no foul. Foul two if his FD is 28. It's only a 12. So Kareem puts up the sky hook on the rebound, and it's good. So the Lakers make it 21-18. And here come the Celtics back the other way. Pass off to Robert Parrish, and he's going to be fouled immediately by uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So this is going to be a shooting foul because they have five here. So it looks like it's going to be a shooting foul. And so Parrish will come to the line, and he's got a 1-73, to and he puts that one up, and that is good. And he puts up the second one, and 88 is no good, and missed with a rebound. Rebound goes to the defensive point guard. As he's a 15. Yes, he is. So Maurice Lucas scoops this one up here. And here comes the other guys. Okay, so he has two fouls, so I might have to replace him here. So Jabbar with it now. He's going up against the power forward. And Mikhail can't make the steal. Jabbar turns, puts this one up. 44 is good. And now, just like that, it's 20. And they got an assist here to James Worthy. It's just like that. It's 22 to 20. So a couple of quick buckets here by the uh, Lakers. And it's a two-point game. Pass to the power forward. I, I learned that today. Power forward. <laughs> I did. I don't know if it was point forward or professional forward. I, I, I don't know all these lingos in basketball. But I learned that it was power forward. Uh, and he is going to be fouled by A.C. Green. And it's going to be two shoot two shots here <clears throat> for the Celtics. Now, what I could do is I could sub in here. So let me take the first shot, and then I'll um. It's, although it's going to tell me to sub in a couple minutes anyway, so I'll wait for the subs. All right, so one to seventy-eight. First one, sixteen is good. Celtics up by three. Second one by McHale, thirty-two. That is up, and that is also good. So McHale hits them both. And inbounds now by the Lakers. And this game flows. I got to say, this, this game flows much like the hockey game flows. I hate to say it, the baseball game doesn't flow. I, I like it, and I, I'm going to play it. And I'm going to get some more seasons, and you'll see more of that on the channel. But it, it doesn't flow. The, the hockey and the basketball flow. The football flows. The baseball doesn't flow, but it's still fun. Uh, it's not a deal breaker, but it's just just being honest with you. It doesn't quite flow that well. All right, so it's no steal, so it's going to be uh, 16. So it's going to Jabbar again. Jabbar is going to put this one up. And, oh, it's blocked, though. Missed. That's good defense by Robert Parrish. The rebound goes to the defensive point guard. If it's a one, that's Sheesting, and he will get it. And Sheesting is going to start to play. And here come the Celtics now. They lead by four. Trying to pass it to Danny Ainge. He gets it over to Ainge. Uh, no foul. Ainge with a 15. Ainge turns. Stops, pops, puts this one up. No good. Defensive out of bounds. Oh, wait, defense, defense out of bounds. Okay. Hmm. So I think we come up here. So it's going to be um, Laker ball. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Bird tries to go. Bird goes for the steal, and he doesn't get it. And I like how it lights this up so I can go right to the end. These are really small, though. See, the center, the pop. Power forward, the forward, the guard, and the point guard. Boy, they're just really small. I have a hard time seeing them here. Fan of 27, hi, Dave. Do you play any cards and dice basketball games as well? I have strat basketball. In fact, um, a friend of mine on Facebook sent me a the awesome season for the Celtics, and I haven't played it yet, but I have played some strat 
Cards and Dice basketball. I do like it. I really do. Uh, and I also play regular season basketball, which is more of a single-player solo type of game. Um, so those are the two basketball I plays. I was look, thinking about getting replay basketball, but I really like the computer version, which plays like the Cards and Dice version. Um, so I played that on the computer. But it's basically, And this is basically Cards and Dice, too. Um, this is one I could probably figure out because there's not a lot of on-the-fly adjustments like there are in some of the other games. Th these cards are pretty true, like the hockey game. I got my tea and my honeys. I try to get my voice back. I'm <clears throat> doing play-by-play -play tomorrow night. So I got to get some rest tonight and get my voice back for tomorrow night. A rare Thursday night game. Yeah, the play, the History Maker Hoops, you know, <clears throat> they had, they redesigned that. And I, and I got to say, honestly, I, I did like the first design of the game a little better than what I'm seeing out of the redesign. Um, but as they keep chipping away on it and work on it, um, it, it's interesting. I just, I think what it does is, um, isn't that the one that if you, you, you flip the card and th those are the guys involved in the play? Which is fine, but I mean, I, like I say, I just had Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He just took two or three shots in a row. So if you, if if you only can, if you're rotating guys in and out of the lineup, then you might not get two or three shots in a row. I, at least that's what it looked like. I, I I did. I keep saying I did like the older one better, but they're not done with the newer one, and they never finished the older one. So again, it's hard to say. <clears throat> okay, so it's going to be a pass to the center. And let's see, who's going to get it here? Um, so Jabbar's going to get it. Uh, it's going to be no steal by Bird and a two. Oh, Jabbar puts it up, trying to cut it back to a two-point lead. And it is not blocked by Sheesting. A 99 is no good, so Jabbar misses that one badly. Defensive guard, seven. Ainge, yes, defensive rebound. And here come the Celtics now, leading by four. And this is going to go to Bird. Bird, 38. Bird is going to make a three-point attempt. Larry Bird is going to drop this from three-point land. 44. Oh, it's no good. He needed the 34. Bird misses. Defensive ball. Good, good defensive out of bounds. So it goes out of bounds. So it's going to be a uh, Laker ball. And we'll start it up here with 348 to go in the first quarter. This is a game I started last night, late last night, <clears throat> and just to get a first look. So this is a second look. All right, is the center of 16? No. Is the guard of 5? Yes. So it's going to go to uh, Byron Scott, the guard. He's a guard, a guard. And 18. He's going to try, try the shot here. Byron Scott puts this one up. It is not blocked. The 74, that's no good. Uh, rebound defensive center, 28. No. Oh, Kareem gets the rebound, puts this one up. And... He is fouled, and the shot is good. So he is fouled, and is, is, uh, he's got a 12. It's better than two. Yeah, so it's good, and he's fouled. And he was fouled by defensive high. Um, Danny Ainge comes in and got him on the hand. So now is a chance to close it to within one. Kareem's at the line. He's got a 77% chance. He puts this one up. A 20 is good. So it's a one-point game now here at the Garden in my very first ever inside the paint game. I can see my... Ooh, they got the momentum now. Hmm. I see now. I can see myself playing some playoff series with this. I really could. I, I like the time how long it takes me to play a game. Like the hockey's... Right about 45, 50 minutes. The football, I can really play that in 40 minutes unless I'm chatting. So it's interesting to see how long the basketball game takes. I think it's going to be about 55 minutes. That's my just shy of an hour. I'm sorry about that, getting more honey on my voice. That works, though, by the way. Tea and honey absolutely works. I can feel my voice clearing up already. All right, Celtics inbound the ball. Now the momentum's only one. This this game has a momentum factor, and I do like it. Usually I don't like momentum. Usually momentum screws me up, but I do like momentum factor in this game. All right, so we're going to try to go to the guard at the 12. No, the forward. So it's going to try to go to Bird, and he'll get it. Bird is going to take the shot now. Bird stops uh, from the top of the key, puts this one up. It is no good. 
Uh, he does not draw the foul. And so it's just a flat-out miss by Bird. So Celtic is shooting 47% from the field right now. That is terrible. And these guys are shooting 48%. Wow, these guys are terrible. Rebound, defensive, power forward if he's a five. Yes. Yes, so Mikhail is a power forward, and he is a five for sure. So, um, oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. No, I'm sorry. Defensive team. Okay, we took the shot. It was no good. I'm sorry. Um, so it's going to be AC green. Yeah, because I got to go green first. Green for green. And he will get the defensive rebound. So green comes down with the ball, and the Lakers now with a chance to take the lead. And it goes to James Worthy on a 15. Puts this one up. And if the momentum is less than minus four, it is not. The defend. Oh, but it's Bird. Steps in. That would have put him in the lead, but Bird. Nice defense there, and it's missed, and it goes out of bounds, and it's the Celtics' ball. Um, so you're new to hockey. You've been watching shootout hockey. It looked like a good interaction. Yes. Um, yeah, I've done a ton of shootout hockey videos. There's a few other guys that have done shootout hockey videos. Shootout hockey is a great introductory to hockey because it's a team card. You don't get to change lines. It's all right there. It's basically a highlight game. So you roll the dice to see if there's any action. It's either going to be no action and just – Time off the clock, which happens in hockey games. There's a lot of times, you know, you play, you play, and you play. There's no goals, no penalties. Uh, so there's going to be either no action and just roll again, or there's going to be a scoring chance, and you try to figure out if, if it's a goal, and if it is, you know, who gets the assist, or it's going to be a, a penalty of come, some kind, or a penalty check, I should say. And uh, then you keep playing. I played so many games of shooter. I love it. I haven't played it in a while, but it, it I, I really, really like it. In fact, I started a whole season with that. But it's just so hard to log in the stats that I kind of haven't been back to it in several months just because it's it's such a pain to log in stats. Maybe I'll get back to it. But I, I love shootout hockey. I played so much shootout hockey. All right, so Celtics with the ball now, clinging to that one-point lead here. 3-12 to go, so I'll have to do some substitutions here, and I'll show you how I do that. And so it's going to be Parrish with it now. Uh-oh. Foul on Abdul-Jabbar. So I got a... a Committed the foul 10. So, yeah, Jabbar with a foul here. That's seven fouls on the Lakers. And so Parrish will go to the line, shooting two. I like how it tells you right here. Uh, one to 73. It is good. So Celtics now by two. And Parrish will shoot his second one. And this one goes up in 24. And that is good as well. So Parrish hits them both. And... It's going to be inbounds now by the Lakers. They trail by three. Pass to the guard, so there's no checks. It goes right to the guard, 32. And Byron Scott is going to put this one up. And, oh, it's going to be defended, though, by Danny Ainge. And the shot is missed. Good defense on Byron Scott. Rebound, defensive guard one. So, yeah, that's usually going to be the case. So it's going to be Danny Ainge on the rebound. Fast break if he's a nine. Yeah. Fast break. He is a nine. So we're going to go fast break for Ainge. Ainge coming down the other way, and he turns it over. And now we're going to do some substitutions. So let me take a look at uh, the substitutions here. So we're going to go full screen. And so I'm going to go to my subs so you can see this here. And I wonder if that would come up. Eh, it might not come up. I don't know. I don't want to screw it up. All right, so um, I need to replace a couple guys here. So I'm gonna put um, we're gonna put Magic Johnson in. So Green is rested. So we're gonna go Johnson in. We're gonna Jabbar is in foul trouble, so we'll let him sit out because he's red. Um, we will put in Lucas can come out. We can put Michael Cooper back in because he's rested. And. That'd be that'd be good there. We can keep everybody. Oh, I should I should get another forward in here, right? Um, oh, Jabbar is tired. Um, so oh wait, Johnson's a point guard. Never mind. Um, so uh, no, we'll keep Cooper. Magic, yeah, Magic. Oh well, yeah, Magic Johnson goes back in the game. James Worthy stays in the game. Byron Scott stays in the game. Uh, let's put Cooper in as a point guard. So he's rested. And is, I need a center. Who's going to be my center? Chuck Nevitt? Maybe. 
So we'll just put him in to, to spell Kareem for right now. So they only get two centers. Okay. Uh, Bird will come out. And so DJ is rested. So he can be the point guard here. So DJ will be the point guard. Ainge is in some foul trouble. Uh, we'll bring in Walton for the center. Rest required. Oh, I like this here. Rest required. So I wonder. So if I wonder if this will change here. If that'll do anything here again. I don't know all the positions. So Ainge is in foul trouble. So we'll take Ainge out. Um, so Paris just come out. DJ just come out. We'll leave Bird in. Um, so I need to get a guard, a guard, a guard. Um, DJ's going as point guard. Do I have another guard over here? Shooting guard. Uh, Rick Carlisle will come in to play for Ainge. So we'll try that. We'll try a couple guys like that, and then let's go um, back to the game. So hopefully I get these rest things. Rest, required rest. Hmm. So I guess we'll uh, have to check that out later. All right, so we return to the game. And hopefully we're back to our, uh, our main screen. Yep, that looks good. And we'll come back to the game. So I just wanted to show you the substitutions, how you do that. Again, I don't know much about it. i got to learn all the positions and, and who plays what. I kind of wish it did it automatically, like the hockey does. You just click the lines and you're done, but oh well. All righty, so it's going to be 26-23 here in the first quarter, inbound by the Lakers. And it's going to go to, well, it could have gone to Cooper, but um, he's going to be denied. The guard is a nine, yes. So it's going to go to Byron Scott, and Byron Scott has got 27, so Byron Scott's going to take the shot. 73, no good. As the Lakers are hitting 42% from the field. Defensive ten, center of 10, yeah. So Bill Walton comes in. He'll grab that rebound. And here come the Celtics now. Up by three with 2.36 to go in the first quarter. Playing inside the paint. Second look at inside the paint. And, boy, this is moving along pretty well. Be better than I thought it was going to. Uh, it's going to be steal. No, it's not going to be a steal. So it's going to be a pass to Kevin McHale, who's the power forward right now. Mikhail at 33, and he is fouled by the forward 28. Yes. So he is, fou he is fouled by James Worthy, and he'll go to the line. Uh, hockey fan, another demo would be interested to check out. Yeah. You know, and, and I picked this up the other day because I wanted to try this before the Black Friday sales because I figured, you know, I'll try it out, and I liked it. And I watched uh, Demo1964. He does a fantastic tutorial in this game. Uh, and once I get better at it, I'll, I'll try to do a tutorial myself. Um, but his tutorial was great. It really showed everything. Uh, I just don't know the strategies all too well, but I'll do a tutorial here on this to show you a little bit about it. But this is it's just easy fun. It's really not complex at all. So shooting two fouls, just go to the green here. So Mikhail, 1 to 78. No! 80 is a miss. So Mikhail misses on this one. And the second one to 22, and that is good. So it's a four-point lead. For Boston. Now, here come the Lakers. Pass to the guard. Byron Scott. Um, fouled by the center. If he's a 40, yes. So, Byron Scott is fouled by Bill Walton. And that's only the third foul of the quarter for the Celtics. So, inbound pass. And here come the Lakers one more time. Is the center a 12? Yes, Chuck Nevitt is a 12. He is not denied. He's got a 33. And he turns this one over. Wow, so Chuck Nevitt comes in for Kareem, and he turns it over in his first touch. Yes, this moves very um, smooth, uh, hockey fan. Uh, very, very similar to inside the crease. A couple different wrinkles, as you notice. You, you got a momentum here. You got some turnover numbers. You got some fast break numbers. So once in a while, it says check the team team number. Um, like there's a, this HRF down here and up here and down here. That's like a home road factor. So sometimes that comes into play, but it lights up and it tells you to check it. So it's really, it's really kind of cool. All right. Inbounds. Here come the Celtics. Now they lead by four, uh, pass to McHale and there's no foul here by the guard because he's not a 60. So McHale with a 40 McHale with a nice pass to the center. And 
And, yes, there's no check, so it's just center. And there's no number next to it. It's an automatic play. So, McHale to Bill Walton, who puts that up and in. And the Celtics now lead by six. Here come the Lakers the other way. It's going to be Worthy with it now. Ooh, almost a steal by Bird, but he doesn't get it. So, Worthy moves in, puts this one up, and 84. That's no good. And the Lakers are only hitting 40%. Look at that, 40% over here. That's terrible. That's, that's really, really terrible. And let's see, who's going to get a rebound? Defensive power forward three. Yeah, so McHale picked this one up, and here come the Celtics now. Trying to go to Walton. Um, he's not a nine, though. Is the forward a two? Yes, Bird is a two, but he's denied. Worthy. Some good defense there. And there's no 29, so I got to pass again. So we're gonna this time it gets to the point guard. Uh, there's no foul there. Cooper reaching in. There's no foul, and a one's gonna be a shot. So DJ puts this one up. A 45, no good. He needed one to 38, no good. Offensive point guard three, yes. So DJ gets his own rebound, and a 12. He tries another shot, and this one is no good. It's missed. Good defense here by Chuck Nevitt. And also the shot was missed, so in either case, it's a miss. And the rebound goes to the defensive center. No, a power forward. So A.C. Green comes in. So D.J. has a shot and a rebound, and both are no good. And so now the Lakers come back up the court. You see how this game flows? It feels like you want you to basketball game. Um, I, I think this does a good job with it. And, again, I'm just a casual basketball guy. So maybe I'm missing something, but I'm enjoying it. So it's going to be a pass to uh, A.C. Green. And uh, see, Bird does not foul. It was close, though. AC Green puts this one up. Is it blocked? Yes, it is. McHale blocks this one. He rejects the shot, and that would have been good on the 39. So rejected. Rebound goes to the defensive center. If he's a four, he is. So Walton gets the rebound. Uh, fast break, no. So we're just going to start it out with a pass. He's going to pass to the center. Uh, himself, it's a one, but he's going to be denied because this guy's a one. Anytime it's a one, it's probably denied. Anything over a three is probably not denied, but anything one, two, one or two is usually denied. One, definitely. So he can't get it to this guy here. So I don't even know why they do that there because it's it's automatically denied. Uh, the power forward, 10. Uh-oh, no. No, he's not a 10. He's only a nine, and there's no 21s out here. Um, so we got to try it again. So can we get it to the... Um, Power forward two. Oh, he's only a one. So it'll go to McHale. McHale with a 36. McHale, is he fouled? Defensive foul of 40. or Oh, that, I haven't seen that yet. So I take it that if he wasn't a 40, it would be an offensive foul on McHale. But because he is a 40, we checked this first. So, yeah, so it's a foul on AC Green. And McHale goes the line. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen that yet. That's the first time I've seen that. So I'm pretty sure that that's what that would be, right? If, if he didn't get the foul, then it would be on McHale. So we got a quick foul here. And so McHale goes to the line, 1-78, to puts this one up, and it's no good. Boy, he's missed a few here. And just want to check his stats. Yeah, I'm not going to call it up. You can't see this. But McHale, um, boy, he's only 3 for 5. On the free throw line. That's not good. He's a 78% shooter, and right now he's hitting 60%. So let's see if he can hit this one here. Second one is good. So they get the one. So it's 30 to 23 Celtics. And now here come the Lakers here with 36 seconds to go. Pass to the point guard. Is it steal? Yes, Bird with a steal. Fast break, six. Yes, sends Rick Carlisle on a break. A 31. Carlisle with a nice pass over to... Forward, no. Center, seven. Yes, to Walton for the jam. This Carlisle gets that one after the steal from Bird. And the Celtics now lead 32 to 23. Inbounds now to Worthy. Worthy, it's not stolen. Worthy's going to take the shot. Puts this one up. Uh, if the team momentum is less than negative three or equal to, they're negative two. So the shot's 15 is good. The shot is good. And assist 10. Yes, assist will go to Michael Cooper on the play. And it's now 32 to 25. Celtics coming back 12 seconds to go. Pass to the forward. Uh, see, opposing team turnover greater than three or three. It's a turnover. So it's a turnover. So uh, 
Bird turns this one over. Time for one last shot here. Is the center an 11? Yes. A 6. So one last shot by Nevitt here. Can he get this to go? Puts this one up. And it's blocked, though, by Kevin McHale. McHale blocks this one. Rebound to the defensive power forward. 17, no, or the highest guy here. The rebound's going to go to Walton. Walton with a pass, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Hmm, interesting. So 32 25. Well, it's funny when I was watching um, Demo play this, there, his, his game was real low scoring. So I got 32 points by the Celtics. Then again, it's the 85 Celtics. So. <laughs> All right, get some more tea and honey in me. So, let me um, let me do this. Let me um, get back to a full screen here, and, and we'll do some substitutions. Uh, so let's go to the subs. And so uh, Jabbar's in some foul trouble still, but we'll bring him back in. So we'll put him at center. Uh, we're gonna leave Magic in. Leave. Worthy, Worthy needs some rest. So we'll put Michael Cooper, we're going to slide him over to power forward. Um, McGee's ready to go. Uh, he's a shooting forward, so we can put him here maybe. And then um, we're going to put Worthy back. Oh, Worthy needs some rest, I think. So we're going to go here. How's, so how's that look? So nobody here. Uh, oh, Byron Scott needs to come out. Byron Scott's been a while. So we'll, let's put in Lucas real quick. Or AC Green. I need these rest too. Um, all right, let's put. Uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna um, we'll leave Byron Scott in there for right now. So Johnson, Byron Scott, Kareem, Michael Cooper, and Mike McGee will give somebody some rest. Uh, for the Celtics, um, Bird needs to come out. He's been in a long time. I think he's been in the whole quarter. So Bird will come out. Parrish will go back in at center. Uh, let's see here. Ainge will come back in as a guard. Uh, DJ's rested, so he can stay at point guard. And Bird will come out, and Sheesting will come in. Oh, wait, um, I need a forward here. Wedman. <laughs> Should I put in Sam Vincent to David Third kill? That'd be great. All right, so Bird will come out after the, the quarter rest. We'll let him rest a little bit here. And, um... Yeah, so that we'll we'll play it like that. So let's return to the game. And let's see if we're, we're back on my screen here. Yep, my shortcuts are working tonight, so that's kind of good. Oh, man, this guy again. Hang on one second here. I'm sorry. I'm getting more people um coming in and, and, and doing the stupid stuff in the chat. So and um, um yeah, so that we'll we'll play it like that. So let's return to the game. And let me ban him from the channel. Oh, no, no, no. That's um, my user on the channel. All right. So hopefully that's uh, that's that. I hate when these people do that stuff there. Third kill is a foul drawing machine. Okay. Well, maybe I'll have to keep that in mind, the phrase. <laughs> I used to watch these guys, too. Back in the day. All right, so we got the subs in. We're going to start the second quarter, and it's going to be Laker ball as we start off. So it's going to go to the point guard here, but it's going to be a steal by uh, Dennis Johnson. DJ with a steal, and it's going to be a fast break. No, so we'll just pass, and we're going to try to – he's going to try to – I was going to say try to skate with it because that's what I'm, I'm used to. So he's going to dribble up the court with a seven. Yep, so he's going to get the seven. There's no deny on that. So he's going to move it up now, and DJ is going to take the shot. He puts this one up, and a nine is good. The DJ with a steal, he goes down and puts that in, 34-25 for the Celtics. And assist any 33? No, I don't have any 33s. Uh, yeah, the, are they your strat addiction? Yeah, they're, they're a fun team to play, not only because they're Boston, but they're just a fun team. All right, so the ball's going to go to Michael Cooper. And DJ trying to get a steal, but he can't get this steal. So it's going to be a 26. So it's going to be Cooper. Nice pass as he sends this over to the point guard, Magic Johnson. 
And Magic puts that in, and the assist goes to Michael Cooper, and that's a nice quick play right there. Kevin, is this game similar to replay basketball? Um, a little. A little. Uh, replay basketball uses dice, and it's got the 6x6 six six grid for the dice. This game uses fast action cards. So if I inbound the ball, you'll see that the middle of the screen, the green and the red, this is actually the part, the part of the fast action card that you're supposed to look at. So instead of rolling dice, you flip a card, and it says pass to the center if he's a 12, which he's not, otherwise to the point guard if he's a 9, and he is. So the, the pass would go to the point guard, and with a 16, he would actually take a shot because 1 to 28 is a shot. So that's kind of how that works with a fast action card. Also with replay, it will simulate games for you, and this will not. And that's a deal breaker for a lot of people. Um, so there's that. Uh, this game is very fun. All the inside sports games are fun. None of them sim, which is a, a huge flaw. So if you're looking to do a one-off or a playoff series, this is great. If you want to do a season or a long replay, the inside sports games are really tough because you have to play every single game. And I don't know many people that do that. But it's very fun. It flows. I, I'm enjoying it. The This is my first game I played. I'm enjoying it very much. Um, so as far as flow goes, it's the same as replay. Replay um, rolls dice. This does fast action cards. Excuse me, replay, because of the sim with replay, as you know, you can go to the um the out of town ticker and you can check in on games and you can jump to other jumps to other jumps, jump to other games and play them. Which this you can't, you you're stuck playing. This this is a true cards and dice. Replays cards and dice, but with with a power of the computer behind it to play a full season, if that makes any sense. I like them both. Um I like them. I like them both equally. Although, if like I say, if I'm going to play a full season, it's going to be replay. If I'm just going to bang out a, a quick game here, a series, I, I I would probably do it here, and which is like all the inside sports games that they're really not good for a, because they don't sim anything. That makes it difficult to do a long one. All right, so I said it's going to go to the point guard over here, 16. So DJ puts this one up. Uh, the defender is not a 12. Uh, 91 is no good, so that's going to be a miss. Rebound to the defensive forward. If he's a 21, it's not. Otherwise, the offensive guard. So Danny Ainge, the offensive rebound, puts it up. And let me see. If the defender is uh, an 11, he's not. The shot is a 28. It's under 55. It's good. So Ainge puts that one up, and it's 36-27. And Big Pablo's here. Flows like basketball and all the player cards. The ratings make a difference. Yeah, I I, like I say I think it's kind of neat how you can click on, you know, I like looking at the cards sometimes too. It's fun. They, all the inside games are fun. They're really fun. They just don't sim. So I, I find my I find my fun in these games by the, the one-offs of the series. I just finished up um, this afternoon. I did inside pitch. I did game four, Royals and the Phillies, the 1980 World Series, and uh, the Royals swept. I'll spoil that one for you there. And that was fun. I learned the game, and that was fun. Uh, yeah, Big Cobble's right. They're both they're both great games. They do different things. If you're looking for a longer replay and a season replay, you got to go to replay PC. If you want to have some fun here as a cards and dice, this is definitely a cards and dice. Although I think you could put... The great thing about replay, you could put stats in. So I could play a game here. In fact, what I'm going to do with uh, the baseball games, I'm going to play some baseball games with inside pitch and then put the stats at the replay PC. And I'll let the replay PC simulate a bunch of games, and the one I want to play, I might play here. Because you can do it with, with any game at all. It's, you know, So I'm going to do that. All right, 36-27. The Celtics have opened up a nine-point lead here early in the second quarter. I'm not going to probably play the full game. I'm just going to play a little bit more tonight. And it's going to be uh, the guard is a 20 no. Is the point guard a one? Yes, but he is denied by Dennis Johnson because what happens here is I'm going G20, so the guard needs to be a go to 20, and he's not. The point guard needs to be a one. Now, the point guard is a one, but you have to check his opponent, and he denies him on a one to three, so it's a one. Is there any 30? No, there's no 30s in the go to, so we're going to pass it again. So now, as you can see, we're going to have to take a four shot. 
because um, time's running out on the shot clock. So the four shot is at the power forward one. Yes, but he's denied. Is the forward a 10? Yes. And there's no 10 here. So the forward gets the shot with a 17. So he puts it up, but the four shot brings down. So again, it's I think he's only got a 26 here instead of a 43. So he's got to hurry it up. So Mike McGee's puts his prayer up. A 26 is good. He needs a, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The 26 changed from here. The shot is a 38. The shot is no good. In fact, it's missed uh, because it's defended nicely by Wedman. So Wedman on a nice defensive play. The rebound, though, is goes to McGee. He gets it back because he's a five. McGee will try to put this one up on the 37. No, he's going to pass it. And he's going to try to get over to the point guard. It's a six. Yes, so he gets it over to Magic Johnson. And it's no steal because nobody has a 10. So Magic Johnson here will put this one up. And if the momentum is less than, ooh, look at this right here. Oh, this is going to be automatically good unless it's blocked. Yeah. Oh, well, so I'm not sure how to do this. So the shot is 91, which would be no good. But if the team momentum is, oh, greater than or equal to two. Okay. So it's not greater than or equal to two. And in any case, oh, it's not blocked. Okay, that's an 11. Okay. So I think you have to start here with the with the block. So the block's not 11. It's only seven. So he doesn't block it. The momentum is zero. So that's a plus two. I thought that was a minus two. So that doesn't come into play. So it's a 91. So the shot is missed. I think that's how it goes. PJet, what's going on, PJet, buddy? What do you, PJet, what have you been playing, by the way? I mean, we haven't talked in a while. Just get my honey down my throat for my voice here. Yeah, we haven't talked in a while, PJ. I just wonder what you've been playing. All right, so the ball is the rebound to the point guard. If he's a one, yeah, it's always a one. So DJ gets it. And defensive rebound, fast break. is uh, Yes, Ainge on the fast break because he's a one. Ainge, 22, puts this one up. And he's missed because the defender is here, and he missed it anyway. So it's going to be a nice defense by Byron Scott. Shot is no good, I guess. And the rebound goes to the defensive forward if he's a three, and it is. So Mike McGee on the rebound. McGee's going to try the fast break. Yes, McGee on the fast break. Puts this one up. And the momentum is zero. The shot, shot is a one that would be good, but it's blocked here for the two. So Wedman with the block, and Wedman gets the rebound, and Wedman will pass it here, and the Celtics bring it up. You haven't played in months. Oh no, you have to relocate. You're living in Virginia. Oh man, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know. I thought I thought you were on the, the island over there. <laughs> Todd, you missed the link. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been getting these these crazy things. I'll check out. I'll click on the links and check them out. If they're any good, I'll let you know, Todd. How about that? Pass to the forward. It is not stolen. It is not denied. So it's going to be a 37. It's going to be, ooh, Wedman with a nice pass. That's like the uh, the AST in hockey. It's a, it's a super shot. But here it's an automatic one. Passes to the forward who is, where's my forward? He is the forward. So he can't pass to himself. So it's going to go to the point guard, which is an eight. And yes, so um, Dennis Johnson takes the pass and puts it up, and it's good. And so the Celtics now, 38-27. Uh, inbound now by the Lakers. Oh, Kareem's got three fouls. Oh, yeah, he hasn't fouled anybody in a while. The power forward, if he's an 18, no. The forward, if he's a three, yes. Not denied, so he will get it, and it's a 31. So it's going to be a, oh, a nice pass by Mike McGee over to the point guard, Magic Johnson, who puts that up and in. So McGee over to Johnson, and that goes up and in. And we're two minutes in, but it's a slow-moving game. Slow-moving game, but it's an enjoyable game. Oh, Lane Lawrence sold, sold the house in Limbo. Oh, man, yeah, that sucks when that happens. I've never had to deal with that. Um, luckily, I haven't had to deal with that. 
Although the, the worst thing that we had to do was when we first met, she had a small apartment. And it was the, the last day of the month. We, we, so the landlord had a bigger apartment for us. So we were going to move into the bigger apartment on the 1st, okay? Follow this. So the apartment, so we're moving out on the 30th, which is the last day of the month. And, you know, we were going to move in on the 1st. Well, the people in the place we were going weren't moving out to the 30th. Right? So, okay. The people were going to move into our place on the 30th. And I'm like, well, it doesn't give us any time to move. You know, because we can't move our stuff into apartment B if they're still moving stuff. They're not out. And you're telling us that we need to be out of apartment A because they want to move stuff in. It's like, I said, no, this is, we're in no man's land. I said, you got to give us at least a half a day or so to get our stuff out of here, you know, because I can't just put it on the street and wait till midnight till they're out. So that was the worst time that we had. So the phrase coming in, are you still rooting for the Phillies? The phrase? <laughs> they didn't do too well on my channel here. The Royals, the Royals are fantastic on this channel. All right, pass it to forward 17. Uh, let's see. Uh, no. The center of four? Yes. So the center will get it in a six. So Robert Parrish, the chief, takes the shot. The chief, if the team momentum is greater than one, yes, but it's going to be blocked by Kareem. Oh, the two. The two blocks it. Kareem with a block. The rebound will go to, ooh, no, high offensive center point. So it's going to go back to Parrish. So Kareem blocks it. Parrish gets it back. He's going to try to pass it to, not McHale. Uh, oh, it won't be this guy either. So he's going to have to pass it again. Oh, and now we got a four shot coming up over here. Oh, uh, boy. This ain't good. Guard 14. Uh, oh, he gets it to DJ. So he does get it to DJ with a 39. And, oh, boy. Oh, he's going to take a three pointer. <laughs> DJ, he's got a three-point land. He's, it's a four-shot. He's got, like, no chance of getting this. Uh, puts this one up, and a 62 is no good at all. And the rebound. Oh, rebound goes to Ainge, though. Ainge gets it. Ainge turns it over on the 21. Wow, look at that. A 1-20 to 20 and a 22-23, to 23, and he gets a 21. He turns it over, and it's going to be Laker ball. Oh, I'm sorry, PJ. That stinks. I'm sorry, buddy. Hopefully you can play something soon. Some hockey blast or something. I think you like that. Play some Seals games. I need to get more Seals back here on the channel. I, I, I never did the final Seals game with Apple. That's on my list there. Oh, this guy again? Come on. Come on. 22, he gets a 21. He turns it over, and it's going to be Laker ball. Oh, I'm sorry, PJ. That stinks. I'm sorry, buddy. Hopefully you can play something soon. Yeah, oh my gosh. Hockey blast or something. I think you like. I think I, I got my computer here ready to tackle this stuff. The pain in the neck. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to delete some more stuff. Toto, if you see that, just get rid of those guys, will you? If you're still here, and you can do that. All right, so where are we now? Inbounds here by the Lakers. Pass to the point guard. It's not taken away by McHale. So this is very much like the hockey game. Uh, so the point guard, 19. So uh, Magic Johnson puts this one up. Uh, 33, it's going to be good, and he is fouled. So it's good. Chance for a three-point play here. Let's see who got the foul. Um, on the guard, 42. No, or defensive high. So it's going to be... Um, uh, DJ, I think, picks up the foul. So, yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, great marketing. Yep, it is. A lot of effort went into that. All righty. So, uh, click first, then assist. Uh, no assist. Then shoot the free throw. Oh, wait. Yes, he is, yes, McGee gets the assist. All right. Basket, good. So, here's the chance to cut it to six. Excuse me, 187. It's good. And now the Celtics inbound the ball. It goes to the power forward here. Uh, is the guard a 60? No, it's not. So it's going to be Kevin McHale. McHale puts this one up. 
Uh, ooh, good defense by Cooper, but not good enough. And the shot is good. So McHale goes right down the court and sinks that for the Celtics. And it's now uh, 40 to 32. And inbounds. Here come the Lakers now. And is the guard an 11? No. Is the point guard a 10? Yes. And there's no deny of a 10. So he'll get it. And it's a 27. So, ooh, Magic Johnson with a super-duper pass to the forward. Mike McGee, who puts that up and in. Assist going to Magic, and it's 40-34. And here come the Celtics now. We're almost ready to make a line change. And it's going to be a steal, though. It's going to be a steal by Magic Johnson. Fast break coming the other way. Michael Cooper, 33, and he dishes it back to the guard, 18, no. Point guard, 8. Yes, this is it back to Magic Johnson on the give and go. And it's now 40 to 36. So what was an 11-point lead is down to a four-point lead here for the Celtics. And now let's do some subs. So just out of curious, curiosity. Uh, no, it's not going to do that. So I need to do this. Um, so let's go full screen and show you my subs. All righty. So we're going to put Bird back in the game. So Bird's ready to go. So Wedman can come out. DJ's rested. McHale probably can take a rest. So power forward. Um, we're going to put Cheesting in. Oh, no. Somebody wanted third kill. Let's go third kill. Yeah, let's get third kill in there. Oh, good. The rest did change here with the rest. So that's good to know. Um, so we need to get Byron Scott out. And so we'll put uh, Lucas back in. And that's about it. Everybody else looks okay. There's only a rest of one required, so we'll do, we'll check that later. And we'll go back to the game. So what do we think about that? Does that work? And does my shortcuts work? Yep, I think so. Okay. So we're back to action here. I'm going to straighten this out. It's kind of a pain how I get to straighten this, but... All righty, so we're back here. We play every three minutes. It does a, a check, which is kind of good. It's kind of like the hockey there. Although hockey change on the fly, but anyway. All right, so inbound now. Celtics by four. Bird's back on the court, and he gets the ball. And it's not a turnover, and Bird will make a nice pass over to the point guard if he's a four. Yes, the DJ, and DJ lays that up and in, and Bird gets the assist. So Bird, immediate impact as he gets back into this game. Celtics back by six. A hit by six, rather. And it's going to be over to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. There's no foul on David third kill. And a 40. And Kareem will make a nice pass to the guard, who is Maurice Lucas. And Lucas puts that up and in uh, with Kareem getting the assist. And <laughs> Just for you, I put third kill in. <laughs> just for you. <laughs> Celtics inbound the ball now. Pace picking up here at the Garden. Look at that score, 42 to 38. Uh, oh, it's going to be a foul, though. So the pass to the point guard, DJ, but he is fouled by Magic Johnson, and that's the first foul of the quarter. That's the other thing is I'm kind of learning about fouls in this game I really don't know much about them, but I'm starting to learn. Ron tried to teach me, but uh, I, I didn't listen. <laughs> All right, that's the last of the honey. Hopefully you'll get me through the quarter. All right, so Boston inbounds the ball. Ball coming inbound. Is he a 13? No. Is he an 8? No. So we're going to pass it again. Pass to the guard. And it's going to be taken away, though. Nice steal by Maurice Lucas. And it's going to be a fast break. Yes. Michael Cooper on the fast break. A 30. And he makes a nice pass behind the back over to power forward 1. So that's him. So he can't get it. The center four, yes, to Kareem, who dunks that in. So Michael Cooper to Kareem, and it's a two-point game. Holy cow, the Lakers have come all the way back to make it a two-point game, and the Lakers have the momentum now. So the Celtics have not had a good second quarter here, coughing up a big lead in the momentum. And it's not going to go here. It's going to go to the center, so it's going to be 17. So Robert Parrish. Puts this one up. It is not blocked. The shot is no good. Rebound, defensive center one. Yeah, so Kareem gets the rebound. And now the Lakers with a chance to tie. 
Chance to tie now. So it's going to go to the forward two, but it's going to be denied. The point guard nine. Yes, so it's going to go to Magic with a 37. And Magic makes a super play to the forward, Mike McGee, and the game is tied at 42-42. And the Celtics are going to take a timeout, and that resets the momentum. I did learn that, so I'll have to do that. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, Fenner, yeah, PJ did some really good shootout hockey videos, too. Yeah, definitely check him out. He, he gets really in-depth at his stuff. And he's a Seals fan to boot. Not the biggest Seals fan, but a Seals fan. All right, so here we go. Boston inbounds the ball. And it's going to go to the PG-6. Yeah, so it's going to be Dennis Johnson with it now. Johnson going to put this up, trying to put the Celtics back in the lead. And let's see. So this is where the home road factor comes in. If it's greater than a three, it is. But unfortunately, the defender here only needs a one. And so easily, so Magic Johnson defending him. And that shot is no good. Defensive center, 31. Otherwise, it's going to go two over here to Michael Cooper. So the Lakers have the ball and a chance to take the lead here at the Garden on the Celtics. It's going to be the point guard, but it's going to be stolen by Bird. Bird with a steal. No fast break, so the Celtics will get that ball back. Uh, it doesn't go to the center. It does go, No, it doesn't go to the point guard. So we're going to have to pass it to the guard this time. And there's a foul on the power forward, um, Michael Cooper. So we got a foul here. You're looking at a good basketball game to play with Curry's Warriors. Hmm. <laughs> He's the biggest Seals fan. <laughs> Uh, that's too funny. All right, so the Celtics are inbounded again. We got a tie game. Uh, the point guard is not a 20. Um, this guy is a 1, but he's going to be denied. And so the Celtics are having all kinds of problems here. Almost stolen. But it's going to go to Ainge. Ainge with a 34. That's pretty good. 34 is good. And he's going to send this one over to Robert Parrish for the jam. And Parrish puts that in. So the Celtics go back up 44-42. I would say this one's fun. It depends what you're looking for. This one's fun. Replay basketball is great cards and dice if you like cards and dice. Uh, replay basketball is another good one. E even strat to a point. Uh, I, I might get the – I have the strat PC game and it doesn't work. So I'm hoping if I got the new one it might work. Oh, man, this guy again. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Damn. And Parrish puts that in so the Celtics go back up 44-42. I would say <sighs> this one's fun. It depends what you're looking for. This one's fun. Replay basketball is great cards and dice if you like cards and dice. Uh, replay basketball is another good one. E even yeah, you're right. I get, I get nine I people watching. You're going to come back in and spam me. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's like the third one here. Boy, I'm getting nailed tonight. They must like this basketball game. So Celtics by two. Pass to the center. It's not stolen. Oh, Big Pablo, thank you, Big Pablo. I, I um, Thank you very much for, for saying that. It makes me feel good. I'm, I'm having a bad day at work, so it makes me feel good when, when somebody enjoys something I do for a change. <laughs> uh, so it is not stolen, so it's going to be Jabbar with it now. Jabbar puts this up. Kareem. Oh, uh, let's see. It's not missed. It's a shot one. Is the uh, HRF factor greater than one? Yes. Oh, no. So the shot well, should have been a one, but it turns into a 100 if the away... If away, and this is greater than one. That is greater than one, so it's a miss. If I'm reading this correctly, if they're away, they are away, and the home road factor is greater or equal to the one, it is greater than or equal to the one, it's a miss. So that home road factor comes into play. And that, that, I do kind of like that. It gives a little home court advantage, which is big in basketball. And let's see here. So it's going to go to the defensive center if he's a 20. Yes. So it's going to be Robert Parrish, the chief. Celtics start back up the court. It's Parrish bringing it up. It's not stolen. 14. Parrish is going to drive to the hoop. Uh, is mo is the momentum less than negative one or equal to negative one? No. Momentum is zero after the timeout. Uh, it is not blocked. And a shot of three is good. So Parrish drives to the hole. And he gets that to go. And assist by Bird on the play. And so the Celtics now by four. Inbounds. And we're going to take a look at some 
some substitutions. So we'll go back to that and see if um, anybody needs to come out. So let's go to uh, my full screen. That's how I have to look at the substitutions. Let's go to my subs right now. James Worthy's ready to come back in, so we'll put him at forward. No one else really needs a rest right now. Everyone looks good here. Uh, I could probably put McHale in back at point forward. So third kill is going to come out. McHale will come back in. So we'll get the starting five basically back for everybody. Um, and we'll put um, we'll put Byron Scott back in. I know he needs a rest, but we'll put the starting five back out for everybody. What do you think? And then return to the game. Well, I think that'll be pretty good. Okay. So let's get back to my game screen here. And here we go. All right, so we're back. <clears throat> um, hey, Bernard, Bernard shows up here. Um, let me see. Uh, I look forward to my show. Thank you. Yeah, we, we, uh, the next one's coming out Sunday. In fact, I got to send out emails tonight. Ooh, good thing you reminded me. I got to make a note right here. I need to send out um, emails for Black Friday. I have a lot of people to contact. So thank you for reminding me. I will do that right when I'm done here. Um, taking on inside games, a lot of practice. But yeah, the baseball has been tough. The baseball has been really tough. The hockey, I, I, I got through it, and now I'm I, I'm enjoying it. I think I'm pretty good at the hockey. The football, uh, I'm about 90% there. And the basketball is going pretty well, too. The baseball, though, whoo, the baseball. With guys on base and runners and... Ooh, boy, errors and checks. It, the baseball game is complex. I'm enjoying it, but it's very complex. So I, I'm probably only about 70% good on the baseball. I, I'm making a lot of mistakes in baseball. All right. Celtics by four after the timeout. Inbounds the ball. And we're going to go here to the forward. Uh, and it's going to take a seven. So James Worthy comes down, puts this one up. If the team momentum is less than or greater than negative five, it is not. 24 is good, so Worthy puts that up and hits it, and it's good. <clears throat> and he recommends it on the tabletop. Okay. Yeah, I imagine some of these games would be great. Um, <laughs> P-Jet forgot to tell Stables to put on double side. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I thought about getting the hockey game all printed out so I could try cards and dice for the hockey. I, I still might. Black Friday sale. I still might. I don't know. They have the um the helper on on the screen here, which so you can flip the cards on the screen, so you don't even need the cards. So I could just order PDF teams, print out a couple teams, and play it here. I might try that. All right. So um, assist to the center. Yes. All right. Celtics coming back the other way. It's going to go to the center. Uh, there's no foul here in a one. So Parrish puts this one up. The momentum is not greater. It's not blocked, but the shot is no good. And the Celtics still only hitting 49%. Defensive forward is a one. Yes, so it's going to go to Worthy on the rebound. And now we're going to pass it here. So another chance for the Lakers to tie. I'm getting hot here in Studio B. And so point guard is a 19. No, the center is a two. Yes, but he's denied. So Parrish. Nice defense on Kareem. Avoids the pass. So now we go to the center. That's a 12. So we'll get it to the center. So Kareem does get the ball. Kareem puts this one up. Uh, no foul. A 43 is good. So the shot is good by Kareem as he gets that over Parrish, and we're tied at 46. Is this game available? The actual cards are just complete. I, I believe this is a, a cards and dice game as well. I believe all the inside games, you can buy cards and dice or a computer. Yes. So if you go to Inside Sports, Inside Sports, Inside Sports Games .com, I forget which one it is, but you can get, um, you can get cards, you can print, you can get printed or PDF. You can get, uh, I think the, you can get the printed in black and white or color. It's obviously more expensive for color, but I would recommend the color, but some people like the black and white. Um, but yeah, so you can, you can do that. Oh, you can print that yourself with a PDF, but yes. Um, I think all the inside games are cards and dice as well as computer. All right. So where are we now? So any 29 assists? No. So it's a tie game here in Boston. I'll play out the second quarter here. Then we'll call it a night so I can get to bed early and rest my voice for tomorrow night. 
big gigs tomorrow night. I don't know who I'm doing tomorrow night, but I got a couple of big show, big uh, big hockey games tomorrow night. <laughs> All right, so it's going to go to Bird now. Boy, you haven't called Bird's name in quite some time. Bird with 13. Bird puts this one up. And, oh, he draws the foul. And a 41 is good, so he's good and he's fouled. So Bird puts that up. It's good and then fouled. And he is fouled by defensive high. So it's going to be uh, Michael Cooper on the foul. And the assist is the power forward three. Yes. So McHale on the assist. So Bird will come to the line here. Chance to make this a three-point game. He's got 90%. And it's good. Bird hits this one here. So the Celtics now by three, and then momentum's at two. And so we're going to call a timeout here. The Lakers will call a timeout, and that resets the momentum. So I need to be fair and do that for both teams. <clears throat> and let's see now. So it's Lakers inbounds the ball. And it's going to be 17, no, four, yes. So it's going to go over to this guy here, Byron Scott with a nine. Byron Scott puts this one up, a 16, and that is no checks at all, and that is good. And that's one of the things I really, really do like about the inside games is that, and even with the football too, is sometimes you need to do a check on the defense or even a check on the offense, and sometimes it's a flat-out just free ride shot or, or pass or run or whatever it is. Uh, I do like that, and and this is one of those cases where it's just straight up. It's nice and easy. 16 is good, and there's no assist by Michael Cooper, so he inbounds the ball. So it's a one-point Celtics lead here. we got a good one brewing here in Boston tonight. Uh, it's not going to go to this guy. It's, it'll go to this guy, but he's denied, so we got to pass it again. Uh, this guy will get the ball here, Bird, the forward six. Bird gets it. It's not stolen, and Bird will get a 14. So Bird... Puts this one up. Uh, it's not blocked. The 43 is good. The bird hits this one here. No assist to McHale. And now we're going to inbounds the ball. So it's going to be uh, Laker ball. Can we get it to the guard two? No, he is denied. Can we go to the center nine? Yes, so it's going to go to Kareem. Kareem looking around. Kareem's going to take the shot himself. If the momentum is less than no, there's no defense here. There's no momentum. The shot 19 is good. So Kareem turns and hits that one there, and assist going to Magic Johnson. So it's a one-point lead again. Yeah, Celtics inbound the ball. Eventually I will get faster at this, and I'll be able to pick up the pace. But again, this is only, still on my first game. I think I'm doing pretty well for my first game and not really knowing much about basketball. Uh, the guard four, yes. So it's going to be Ainge will get the ball. No foul. A six. Ainge puts this one up. It's not blocked. The 28 is good. So Ainge hits this one here. And uh, Bird will get the assist. And now uh, it's a three back to a three-point lead. And it's going to be a... Wow, the momentum is two. For uh, I'm going to have to call a timeout soon. That the momentum is a two for the Lakers. I feel, I just hit a couple of shots. That's kind of weird. I don't know how it factors the momentum, but it does. All right, so let's um. Oh, we try the the, uh, the forward is a one, but he's going to be denied. I think all all ones are denied. The point guard ten. Yes, we're going to get it to Johnson for thirty eight. Magic Johnson with a nice pass over to the point guard. No, he's the point guard, so it can't be him. It's got to be the power forward. Yes. Michael Cooper drops that in from Magic Johnson. It's back to a one-point game. And the Celtics are going to call a timeout and reset the, uh, that to zero. So we'll have to do that for both teams. All right, they're going to settle everybody down, and here we go. So they took away the momentum. So it's going to be a pass to the center, and it's immediate foul here by Jabbar on Robert Parrish. And that's the fourth foul. So inbounds the ball again. And it's going to be Bird. Bird coming in. Bird turns us an over on the 27. Uh, it's unlike Bird. You like the inside sports? But yeah, they are nice looking, actually. And they're gonna, I wonder if I can show the cards here. Um, I might be able to. Let me see something here. Oh, maybe not. No, I was trying to show the card, but... I don't think it's showing up. So let us play on here. Maybe at the end of the game, I'll, I'll show you that what the cards look like. 
at the end of the half, I should say. All right, so pass to the center. Jabbar has it. It's not taken away. Jabbar puts this one up, trying to give the Lakers the lead. And it's not blocked, and it's good. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with 19 points. I just noticed that. It's 19 points for Jabbar. And assist to Michael Cooper. And now the Lakers have taken the lead. Yikes. Wowzers. So... 29 to 21, the Lakers are outscoring the Celtics here in the second quarter. Yowzers. All right, inbounds by the Celtics. And it's going to be Parrish. It's not stolen. Parrish with an eight puts this one up. If the team momentum is less than, no, that's fine. The defender, oh, blocked by Kareem. Offensive rebound, offensive out of bounds. So the Celtics get the ball back. And a pass to the forwards, 10. Yes, it was going to be Bird. Bird puts this up, a 19. It's not blocked. The 10 is good. So the Bird puts this one up, but he gives the Celtics the lead back, 55, 54. And we're going to um, we're gonna play. We're going to finish out the quarter with what we got. I already made the substitutions. And let's see. Byron Scott's going to get it here with a 3. And it's good. Yeah, so Byron Scott has it. Uh, it's not stolen, and he's going to get a 34 here. And he's, oh, he's going to be fouled. So he's going to be fouled by Danny Ainge. That's Ainge's third foul of the game. And it's going to be a shooting foul. So Byron Scott, with a 78% chance, has to tie it and take the lead. The first one goes up and is good. Game is tied at 55. Second one's up, and that is good as well, just barely. And so the Lakers have taken the lead back. And here come the Celtics now, 2.24 to go. Pass to the forward. It's going to be no foul. And let's see, 27. And it, Bird turns it over again. The second time he's pulled a 27 in this game, and he turns it over. And so now it's going to be the point guard. It's going to be Magic Johnson with a 30. With a nice pass over to the forward. No, power forward. Yes. Michael Cooper for the basket, and it's a three-point lead now as the Celtics have gone to pot here in the second quarter. And it's going to be over here to Dennis Johnson. Dennis Johnson, a 31. He is fouled by... Let's see, he's not fouled by this guy. By the card, is a 30. No defensive high. So that would be... Um, Magic Johnson gets the foul. He's going to shoot two. Puts this one up, and that first one is good. The second one is good as well. So it's now it's a one-point lead. And with two minutes to go, here come the Lakers. Pass to it to Magic Johnson, but it's taken away. It's a steal. Steal by Dennis Johnson. No fast break, though. So the Celtics will get the ball back with a chance to take the lead. Uh, gets it over to Bird. Bird with a 20. Bird takes the shot. No good. Bird has uh, 18 points in this game. And it goes to the defensive center, so it's going to be Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with it. Uh, no fast break, so it's going to come back the other way. So the Celtics had a chance to take the lead, and they blow it. A 14, yes, so it's going to be Magic Johnson. Puts this one up, and it's not blocked. And a 28 is good, so it's a three-point lead now for the Lakers. And it's going to be the guard coming with it now. No foul, 36. And Danny Ainge with a nice pass to the center, Robert Parrish, who slams that home, and now it's back to a one-point game. And with minute 12 to go, well, a minute now here, pass to the center. Oh, almost stolen by Ainge, but it's not. 35, and he is fouled. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is fouled by Robert Parrish. Shooting foul. First one is up, and it is good. Second one is up, and that dances around the rim, but drops in, so he gets them both, and it's back to a three-point lead. Boston with the ball. The guard is an 18. No, the center is a three. Yes, eight. Parrish being watched by Jabbar. Parrish puts this one up. The momentum is not less than negative three. A 15 is good, so Parrish puts it up, and it's back to a one-point game. Um, assist 15. No, so inbounds. And it's going to be um, forward 17, no center, four. Yes, so Kareem with it again. Kareem's been busy. 21 points for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in this game. He puts this one up, and let's see. It's, 
Let me see. It's 100 if it's the way is greater than 2 or equal to. It is. So it's going to be 100. So the shot is missed, and he is fouled because this foul draws 12. So he is missing a foul, and the foul is going to be on, not this guy, it's going to be on Parrish. So Parrish now has two. So he shoots two right now. First one is up, and it's good. And the second one is up. Dances around the rim, but that goes in, so he gets them both again. So it's back to a three-point lead. Um, It's going to be, uh, oh, seven, no, point. Power, yeah, it's going to go to the power four, so it's going to be McHale with a 30. McHale, ooh, puts this one up. If the team momentum is less than, no. Uh, does he draw the foul? Yes, he draws the foul. Oh, it's good. Oh, 24 is good. And he draws the foul, so it's good. And a foul, so the Celtics got a chance to tie this one up uh, with 24 seconds to go. So let's see um, who gets the foul. So it's going to be on defensive 70. Uh, Oh, offensive foul? How can that be? So if it's he's not a seven, this is an offensive foul? Oh, they take away the basket. It's an offensive foul. Oh, and the Garden Faithful, not happy with that whatsoever. And Worthy's going to put this one up. Time running out. And no, taken away here by Bird. And defensive... PF21 or offensive P. Oh, it's going to go back to Worthy. Worthy at the buzzer trying to put this one up. And this is good. So now it's a five point lead. So what could have been a tie game was an offensive foul. And that benefited the Lakers. And it's going to be a steal. Steal by Jabbar. Fast break 10. No pass. And that'll end the quarter. So, Wowzers. Some craziness going on here. Now, let me show you some some things going on here in the game. So, let's go to my um, my game stats. So, look at that. 41-29. to 29, The Lakers storming back in that second quarter. Eight lead changes. Uh, Magic Johnson has 11. Uh, Kareem is on fire with 23. And the Celtics have just been quiet. Bird with 18. 17 for Parrish. 53% from nine, um, well, 68% from the free throw line. That is terrible for Boston. So, wow. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of the stats in the game. So let me um, save the game and just show you how some of the cards look in this game. Okay. So let's um, exit and go back here. So if we go to um, view team player stats, uh, is this gonna is this gonna show me the? No, this is not gonna show me. Oh, I'm playing a. I I could, no, this is not how we get to the cards. Hang on a sec. View legally to sort of what's that? All right, maybe this. Edit. Maybe this. All right, so eighty five, eighty six. Boston. And see, there's their card right there. And I think you can edit these too. I think if you want to, you can. You can edit the numbers if you want. So you can really, you know, stack it up and uh, make your team really, really good if you wanted to. Um, so that's uh, Walton, and you get Ainge and third kill. So that's what that card looks like. But what the um, the game does a good job of is um, it'll only show you what you need to really see, and it blocks out some of the other stuff. So I, I really like that, um, how it does that. And so... Just making sure that I look good on there. Let's take a look at the bird card. There he is. <clears throat> and if I want to go back to the uh, the Lakers, 85, 86. Uh, if I want to go to the Lakers. Again, this is where you would put in the logo, too, is uh, edit the team. So I just dropped in the logos. Uh, but, yeah, AC Green. We want to see Kareem. And, again, if I had his picture in there, it would show up. I don't have any pictures yet. Um, Maurice Lucas. Kurt Rambis. Now we haven't Rambis in the game yet. So, anyway, back to Studio B. And, yeah, that's a little bit more of uh, Inside the Paint, a second look. Um, I need to pick up the pace a little bit. It, it, seems, it does, seems to take a while to play. Um, 
but I'm enjoying it. I, I, I'm, I'm having fun with all the inside games, despite the fact that you can't simulate anything, so you really can't play a full, full-blown full season or whatever. But anyway, uh, hey, guys, thanks for tuning in tonight. Just a little basketball here on the channel. As I, uh, just trying to get out of the funk I was in. So thanks for helping me uh, cheer, cheer, help. Thanks for helping me cheer me up uh, as I get to play a little bit tonight here. So we'll talk to everybody later. I won't be on tomorrow night again. I'm working a couple of games. I got a broadcast tomorrow night for reels. I don't know who the teams are, but it's supposed to be some big showcase up there in New Hampshire that I'm going to. So when I get there, I'll find out who the teams are. So I need to get to bed and rest my voice. So we'll talk to everybody later.